This video is for all of you iPhone 12 and 13 users, because today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the best MagSafe accessories you can buy. This is the new MagGo lineup from Anchor. Six different MagSafe compatible devices, ranging from charging stands to power banks to car mounts. They take advantage of one of the iPhone's best features, fully exploiting the ease and convenience of MagSafe to charge your phone. They all use super strong magnets, so you can easily and securely snap your phone onto them, and they come in a range of color options too. So this video will break down the entire MagGo series and show you what each of these devices can do. The first entry is Anker's 622 magnetic battery, their solution for charging on the go. I'm not sure exactly why Anker is using these numbers for the MagGo series, but it does help to distinguish some of the very similar names, as we'll see. I expect this accessory will be the most popular. Very simply, it's a power bank that magnetically snaps onto the back of your iPhone 12 or 13 to wirelessly charge it. The package comes with a power bank itself, a USB-C to C cable, and the usual paperwork. The power bank has a really beautiful design with these tough but soft touch materials that offer good grip. I have the white, black, purple, and light blue versions, but there's a lovely mint green color available too. The bank features a button to check the remaining battery or charge level with these LEDs, and a single USB-C port, which is bi-directional. This means you can charge other devices via this USB port like a normal power bank, and you can charge the power bank itself here too. But you'll mainly be snapping this thing onto the back of your iPhone and enjoying the freedom of wireless charging. We first saw Anker introduce a MagSafe power bank with the PowerCore Magnetic 5K, which has the same 5000 million power capacity as the new version and a bigger capacity than Apple's own version. But the MagGo battery has faster 75 watt charging and an improved design, which is not only slimmer, but now features a foldable magnetic kickstand. The stand is reminiscent of Apple's smart folio case, and is strong enough to support even the big 13 Pro Max. The magnets are super strong as well, to support phones in both portrait and landscape orientations, even if you use a MagSafe phone case. You can quickly fold the stand away again when you're taking this on the go, so the whole thing makes for a portable and reasonably compact package. Just being able to charge your phone wire-free and still use it one-handed is a really cool concept, and for me, the convenience this brings over a regular power bank is massive. It fits well on all of the iPhone 12 and 13 models, but may feel a bit big if you have a mini, where it will hang over the edges, so that's something to look out for. Like the rest of the chargers on this list, the power supplied over MagSafe is 75 watts, and I can get an extra 75% charge for my 13 Pro, or pretty much a full charge on an iPhone 12 or a 12 Pro. The 622 magnetic battery starts at $59.99. Next up is number 623, the magnetic wireless charger, a portable solution for charging two devices at once. The package comes with the charger itself, the usual paperwork, and a 5 foot USB C to C cable along with a 20 watt wall adapter. The charger has a really sleek can like design and is heavily weighted to keep it secure on your desk. The MagSafe charging pad on the surface flips up to a 60 degree angle to reveal a second wireless charging pad underneath, so you can charge up your phone and a second device at the same time. The magnetic charger supports a 75 watt output, which your phone easily snaps onto, whilst the second pad offers just 5 watts, which is suitable for something like a pair of earbuds. The hinge is well weighted too, and the magnets are strong enough to easily hold your phone regardless of the orientation. The base is powered by USB-C, it's not a power bank and needs to be plugged in to charge devices, but the cable is removable and the base folds down to a nice compact size to make it super portable. Alongside the weighted base, there's a non-slip surface underneath to stop it sliding around on your desk, and there's an LED indicator to let you know your phone is charging. The LED turns off after a few seconds though, so it doesn't disturb you whilst you're sleeping. I think this design and concept is really unique and cool. Ideally I'd like this to angle down just a little bit more, but I'm very impressed with the strength of the magnets and the build quality. The weighted base gives this a really premium feel. One criticism would be that, if anything, it should be even heavier. This would give the base even more stability when mounting phones like the Heavy 13 Pro Max, but there's enough here to stop it toppling over. The 623 charger comes in four colours, purple, light blue, grey and white, and it starts at $79.99. Now we have perhaps my favourite entry in this lineup, the 633 magnetic wireless charger. This 3-in-1 charging stand has a more traditional style on the surface, but with some cool extra features. The package includes the charging stand with the built-in power bank, the usual paperwork, a 25 watt wall charger, 
and a 5 foot USB C to C cable. The stand has a really beautiful and clean design, and is made from really premium materials. The contrast of the glossy arm against the matte textures looks especially good in white, I think, so full marks for the design on this one. The bottom surface has the same non slip grippy texture we saw with the 623, and there's a cable management indent to tidy up the detachable USB C cable used to power the base. The main function is the magnetic charging pad, where you can snap on your phone and wirelessly charge it, and the stand holds your phone in any orientation with its powerful magnets. Attaching your phone will briefly eliminate the LED ring around the base, just like the previous charger we saw. You can tilt the stand 40 degrees to give you a good range for angling your phone, and even when fully vertical, you have a good amount of clearance underneath for the second charging pad. The base here is a 5 watt wireless charging pad designed for devices like earbuds, so this is also a 2 in 1 charger. But the reason this is actually a 3 in 1 charger is that the magnetic charging pad is actually a detachable wireless power bank. So you can charge your phone on the stand, and then simply slide the two out together to take them on the go, and you've got yourself a magnetic portable power bank. When you're back home, you can dock them back into the stand to recharge them both. It's a really clever system. Just like the first power bank we saw, it's got a 5000 mAh capacity, charges other devices and itself by USB-C, and has an ultra slim design. It's actually a bit slimmer than the 622 power bank, so it's even easier to hold with your phone, but doesn't have the kickstand feature. I'm not entirely sure why these aren't the exact same design, then you could just dock any of the 622 power banks into this stand, but unfortunately they're slightly different sizes and it doesn't fit. My other gripe is that the connection with the pins in the stand is relatively loose. The power bank doesn't snap or click in a satisfying way back into the stand when you dock it. This might be to keep the sliding mechanism nice and smooth though, and it hasn't affected charging or been an issue so far. One interesting thing to see will be how the power bank's battery health fares over time. Being constantly recharged when it's docked may mean that it has reduced capacity as a power bank in a couple of years' time. We'll just have to wait and see. Still, it's really cool combining the stand and power bank into one device, and quickly switching between them is awesome. So for those of you who think they might want both a power bank and a charging stand, this all-in-one device offers good value for money. The stand comes in white, grey and light blue, and is available for $119.99. Next up is the 637 Magnetic Charging Station, the charging solution for your desktop. This package comes with the charging station, the usual paperwork, and some Velcro cable ties. This 8-in-1 device is designed to help organise and declutter your desk as an all-in-one charging solution. The station features three AC wall outlets, two USB-C power delivery ports, two USB-A ports, and finally of course a MagSafe charging pad on the opposite side. The idea here is that you can set up all of your cables and plugs on the rear side out of the way, and leave the MagSafe pad facing towards you so you can easily charge your phone. The concept is great, and it definitely does a good job of tidying up your desk with this unique looking design. There are some nice materials used here too, including a grippy rubber texture underneath, and this compact form factor barely takes up space on your desk. Your phone easily snaps on and off the base, and there's enough weight here to keep it stable as you do so. There's actually a 7 point safety system in place here, which is really reassuring. The port selection is great, but there are some quirks to bear in mind if you're trying to charge multiple devices at once. Firstly, you'll need to use very small wall plugs like these to avoid blocking access to the other ports. With it being so compact, it may be difficult to actually utilise all 8 charging options at once. Using multiple ports at once will also lower the maximum power available. The USB-C ports offer up to 65 watts of power, but only when used on their own. This is plenty to fast charge a lot of phones and tablets, but I'd personally have hoped for something closer to 100 watts, so you could more effectively power laptops like a MacBook Pro. The MagSafe pad works great as a charger, and is very simple to use, but not so good as a stand. There's no way to angle your phone differently, for example if you were taking a FaceTime call. But my biggest gripe is the charging cable. It's quite thick and inflexible, which makes cable management more tricky, plus the 5 foot length may be restricting but it's the fact that it's fused to the charging station that I don't like. So you can't swap this out for a longer or better alternative, it's not very portable, and you'll need to replace the entire device as opposed to just the cable if you damage it. A lot of these drawbacks may be completely negated if you've got everything permanently set up on your desk, and maybe you don't need any more power than what this device offers. In which case, this 8-in-1 charging station could be a really convenient addition to your setup. As long as you live in the US, that is, which is the only place you can get this right now. 
I'd love to see something like this come to the UK and other markets as well. I know the different plug styles makes this a lot more difficult, so right now, this is for US customers only. The 637 charging station is available in white, black and light blue for $99.99. The fifth entry is number 610, the magnetic phone grip. This entry is actually the only one that doesn't charge your phone. Instead, this device is used to help you grip your phone or can transform into a kickstand. You simply snap the ring onto your phone and then fold out the inner metal loop, which you can either slide your finger through for extra grip, similar to a pop socket, or you can instead use it as a kickstand to prop your phone up for watching movies. The build quality is fantastic, Apple-esque in its design, and this tough rubberized texture feels really premium and won't damage the back of your phone. The polished metal loop looks great too, and has a perfectly weighted movement so that you can easily angle it as needed, but it's strong enough to support even the heavy 13 Pro Max with a case on it. You just set the angle, and it will hold it perfectly still. As I said, the magnets are super tough, so you're not going to accidentally knock your phone off. I gave it the shake test, and it passed with flying colours. But at the same time, you can easily rotate and slide the grip off when you need to. I especially like that it's thin enough to not be intrusive with daily use. You can comfortably grip the phone with the loop folded down, and it doesn't get in the way. So you could essentially leave this attached all the time. It's lightweight, and it'll stop you scratching the back of your phone each time you put it down but without having the bulky weight of having an entire phone case. So those of you who like to enjoy a naked phone might prefer this option to a phone case. Plus you've got the added grip and kickstand benefits as well. For such a simple product, I don't really have much to complain about. The only thing to bear in mind is that you'll have to remove it when you want to wirelessly charge your phone. It would be awesome if they ever find a way to have pass-through charging with the grip attached. We've seen this with phone cases, so it's definitely possible. I also wish there was some kind of indent or something you could press on the grip to release the inner loop. It's very tricky to get the loop out once it's attached to your phone, so I have to take it off each time I want to use the ring loop or kickstand. Just seems like a small thing that could be easily rectified. The grip comes in four colours, purple, grey, white and light blue, and starts at $15.99. And finally, we have number 613, the car mount. This package comes with a magnetic wireless car charger, a mounting pad for your dashboard, along with four cable clips, a 5 foot USB A to C cable, and finally a dual port USB C and A power drive car adapter. Actually, the same one I recommended in my last Anchor Accessories video, so that's really cool. Setup is really simple. You choose the best spot on your dash for the charger or the mounting pad, remove the protective film to secure it in place, and finally lock it in position with the lever. This lever makes it quick and simple to remove the mount in future and you can reposition it without leaving behind a sticky residue. Personally, I found the most stable and secure fit by mounting directly to my dash though. You can then run the USB cable into your power drive car adapter, and use the included clips to help with cable management if needed. And the nice part is, you've still got a spare power delivery USB-C port available for fast charging a second device. Since the cable is detachable though, you could also use a C to C cable to free up the USB-A port instead, which might be useful if you need this for something like a dash cam. The mount provides up to 134 degrees of angle adjustment, and of course you can rotate your phone however you like once it's mounted. Powering on the device will illuminate the MagSafe pad with a gentle white LED ring, so you don't need to fumble around in the dark to find the mounting pad. Just hold your phone close by, and the magnets will take care of the rest. Again, the magnets are really strong, so you can mount heavy phones like the 13 Pro, and even over the more bumpy terrain, the mount holds the phone securely in place, although the arm can sometimes wobble a little. This has been the biggest advantage over a lot of the competitors, which can struggle to securely mount the new iPhones, especially when using a phone case as well. The mount is ideal for giving you easy access to hands-free calls, your music, and of course navigation. My personal car has Apple CarPlay built in, so I don't actually need to charge my phone or view the screen whilst driving. However, I've still benefited from having a convenient place to mount my phone each time I get in. I just snap my phone on and off the pad, rather than risk losing it between the seats or getting tangled around the gear stick. So that's something to bear in mind for those of you who don't have wireless CarPlay. The mount can charge your phone at 75 watts and is available in just the one colour at $69.99. So there we have it, that's our look at all six of the new MacGo devices. They're obviously not without their faults, but my overall impression is that this is a fantastic lineup of products. I feel like Anchor's MacGo series are the MagSafe accessories iPhone 12 and 13 users have been waiting for. 
MagSafe is such a unique and useful design, so it's great to have a whole bunch of new devices that fully exploit it at reasonable prices. One drawback to these is that, as with most third-party accessories, Apple doesn't endorse them, which means that they don't have the fast MagSafe charging speed at 15 watts, they're capped at 7.5. But you only have to look at Apple's expensive power bank to see how Anker's version is not only cheaper, but better designed as well. Plus, Apple doesn't offer nearly as many different types of accessory. So if you're looking to enhance your iPhone 12 or 13 experience, the Maggo accessories are well worth looking into. Let me know in the comment section though which of the new Maggo products is your favourite. If you have any questions about these then do leave those as well and I'll do my best to answer you. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.